Hey, what's happening? New episode of Vlogs. It's your homeboy, the one and only Mystical Pony. And today's topic is uh, that somebody hit me up and, and told me to speak on it. I mean, I didn't understand why, but I do understand why. Uh, Jimmy Hamilde, uh, he did a post a couple of days ago saying something about, um, I'm getting tired of this game. I'm ready to retire, stuff like that. And those, those type of senses. First of all, I would like to give positive encouragement to Jimmy Milde to keep your head up, homeboy. Don't worry about it. I feel like I could relate to him in the early 2000s when we were doing big things, big, big things, being on the radio, blah, 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 a lot of success. And then sometimes you encounter haters. And I'm really a street cat, so, you know, I got lots of real threats, hating, and blah, but, you know, I'm a real one, so I ain't tripping. But at the end of the day, um, that's what happens in this music business. And I know he's in a music business. I don't know personally any of his beefs or any of the drama, but I know the man personally that I he reached out to me. He went to my live a long time ago. He shouted me out. We had a conversation on the phone. We don't talk as much no more. I seen him at big events, boxing events. I seen him when I was with Floyd. He rolled to the hotel when I was with Floyd. He had his boys. Um, so he's in the same places in L.A. sometimes in the same places. But uh, his whole thing about retiring and stuff, and that's what I want to speak on, man. Like, I've been in the game for this long, this strong. Uh, I've been, I got numerous threats of hate and jealousy and blah, 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 blah. And I understand where he's coming from. He's done so much for the community. He's put so many people on now in this new modern times. He's putting people on, and he's starting to feel the wrath of that. And what I feel like is more bothering homeboy, which I don't know about his beast situation. If you guys know, you guys know I don't like to get involved in that. I just see him as a person that's giving opportunities and helping out other individuals. Whether what happened, I don't know. I just see I'm quickly to jump on his side on the facts of I know how I was, right? So whether he's the same or not, I don't know but I could see a lot of similarities and I see, you know, some people be hating and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Cause you see him with the flashy cars. You see him done success. He's got a bigger chapter than us, man. He got Mexico and he got the new generation. Cause the new generation Chicanos are basically going with the trap for they are going to that stuff because in LA, the Chicano culture just fought amongst each other so much that I feel like they either went to the hip hop black kind of vi vibes, which is all good, or they went into the um, corrido trap, those kind of vibes, all good, right? So everybody just all over the place, right? And he found the niche of that and really blew it up. Shots out to even guys who were before him that did uh, pretty good. And uh, man, he feels about retiring. And like I said, homie, don't even trip. You won't be good. But I feel like what are really bothering him is the lack of respect in the hip hop world. And that's what I feel like he's going through, what I feel like I was going through. I had a number top 10 record in, in the country, United States, hip hop. I had top 10 records three or four times. I was played on Power 106 Los Angeles. Still to this day, nobody, hardly anyone's on Power 106 LA. I was on Kiss FM, a real pop, teenager, poppy, real rich kind of pop vibe. I was played, Summertime Anthem was played on that station and so on and i didn't even do what other labels were doing after i opened the door a lot of other chicano artists started hitting the radio some even got bigger hits than me because they were putting the money through their labels i was just like hey man the city's really messing with you and we did small budgets and we got so big but uh what the lack of respect that i feel is like i've done shows with artists like 50 cents and i opened up for him back in the days when my hits and the whole crowd, I would leave and go to the table, and the whole crowd would leave the crowd, and he's 50 cents, very big. And half the crowd or more would even come to my table while he's on concert. You know, that's just something that I remember opening up, not just him particularly. I'm not speaking just on him. Just a lot of major artists that were back then. They were like, who's this, who's this guy that's getting, we never even heard him on no hip-hop magazines. We haven't heard him on nothing, and he's got the whole crowd with him. From Chuco Town, El Paso, I go to the wherever I went, it was cracking, right? So I feel like I seen a uh, documentary, I don't know if it was on Vice or something, 
something about Pimp My Ride. I forgot who they had on it, but it might have been Exhibit. I might be wrong, but Exhibit's a solid ass dude. But they threw his name on. They threw all these guys, and Jimmy was in this um, like the little coming soon thing, but they didn't say his name. And Jimmy's doing big things. Why didn't give the man his props? You know what I'm saying? So I feel like he's like, man, I've done so much for this community. I've done so much for not even community for Los Angeles that I should be out there with the P. Diddy's, with the Jay-Z's, with all the big guys. He should be there with him. I personally think he should, right? But he's not getting that respect. And that's the same way at my time. I feel like I should be getting more whatever. Yeah, we got contracts from G-Unit. We got contracts from so many people, million-dollar contracts. But we were just like, we don't know if we want to switch our style. We want to keep it where we want to. We did what I did. But he's doing all these moves, and, and he's getting less acknowledgement. So at the end of the day, I feel like that's what he's worried about. And, man, a man-to-man -man conversation with the homie one day I might have, and I'm going to give him my intel of what I feel like I got and what he's going through now. And hopefully, you know, like, he becomes stronger because he is right now one of the main guys that are leading the wave. He can actually connect the dots and bring up hip hop. I have my ideas that I wish I could talk to him when I have time and see what he could do. And that's for Jimmy to tap back in. Um, I'm going to send him a message. Maybe we'll get, we get together for lunch one of these days, but uh, he needs to be more recognized in hip hop community general. Not he's already got his lane going, but hip hop, and I feel like, man, don't even worry, man. Just get your thing, man. You got it, homie. You you got it, homie. I've been there, done that. Come on, my G, you got this. You feel me? But uh, yeah, that's something I want to talk about because somebody bring it up. Someone listen to Trap Cool Evil. Some of these fans that hit me up. Hey, what's up with Jimmy, dog? I know you've been through a lot. He's a label too. You know what's what you what you think about this? And I was like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna speak on it because this is what I see that he's not getting the respect that he deserves more, and Powerful minds come together, can make powerful moves, and hopefully that could happen too. And he's about his rasa, and he's strong on it. That's what's up. It's a worldwide game too, so get in the game and take over and take cross those lines, homie. Just wanted to give my intel on this. Another episode of Vlogs. You're home Mr. Capone. Drop your comments. I mean, I just do this for fun. I just give you my point of view. I ain't here for the gossip and drama and the negativity. Let's keep that positivity energy in there. I know it won't get as much as hype as negative energy, but we keeping that positive because we successful anyways. Baby, show I'm out. Oh.